So I was at the hospital on my surgery rotation and I had an hour off for lunch, which never happens. So I went down to Marshall Street to get some food. And if you're not from Syracuse, Marshall Street is right on Syracuse University campus and has a few restaurants and a Starbucks. And of course the SU girls are always getting Starbucks in their Ugg boots and their North faces. It's like a uniform around here. They don't care, bro. Anyway, so I decided to get some Chinese food. And I asked the guy, can I get something without rice or noodles? Just like chicken, vegetables, something pretty low carb. And he tells me to get the $10 lunch special, which is just chicken, veggies, and just a little bit of rice. I said, okay. So as the dude starts scooping two heaping scoops of rice onto my plate, he starts telling me that he's been trying to lose weight too. Actually, that his wife told him she'll pay him $1,000 if he can lose 30 pounds by November. I ask him how tall he is, he says 5'5". Five five. I ask him how much he weighs, he says 185. So I do a little quick math, and I figure out that 30 pounds is exactly what this dude needs to lose, and that November being about six months away, he'd have to lose about five pounds a month. That's a little over one pound a week, which is totally doable. And so we get to talking about dieting, about losing weight, and I tell him that the only thing that's worked consistently for me is tracking my calories. Every single meal, every single day. And even when I go over my 2,000 calories per day goal, and even when I go way over my 2,000 calories and eat like three or 4,000 and have a total cheat day, I still track it. So that way, when I weigh myself that week and I see that I haven't lost any weight, I know exactly why. And the dude tells me, oh, I could never do that. Oh, I could never do that. You know, my cousin Greg, who's a chemical engineer, once told me, I believe there's a mathematical solution for every problem. So let's do some math. It takes me between 30 seconds and maybe two minutes to track each meal. 30 seconds if it's something I've had before and I've already calculated the protein and the calories that are in there. So all I have to do is go into my spreadsheet and just copy and paste from the day before. And if it's something new, especially like at a restaurant, it might take a few minutes of Googling to figure out how many calories are in the food that I'm about to shove into that big hole in my face. But either way, it doesn't take long. So let's say I eat five times a day and every single meal I eat is something I haven't had before and I have to take about two minutes to Google and figure out how many calories and how much protein is in the food I'm about to eat. So let's see, that's five times two and that gives me 10. Oh my God, 10 minutes. You don't have 10 minutes a day to make $1,000, bro? You can't spend 10 minutes a day every day for six months to look better and feel 10 years younger? Come on, dude. That's your brain messing with you. Yes, you can. Yes, you can.